¿Qué? ¿Qué? Oh my god. Ok, si no any redness, tenderness, or signs of infection, um, pain, swelling, redness, odor. And what's um, persistent? Is that just like for a day or so? Or? Like if she's constantly having it. Okay. Like, yeah, probably like a couple of days. Like if it's, I know she has a prescription for Zofran at home. Um, I saw on her medication list, if she takes that and like it's not helping at all, she just keeps constantly being sick, then um, you can go ahead and give them a call. Okay. You can call for any severe uncontrolled pain. Temperature greater than 100.4. Um, he does want to see her in one to two weeks. Um, he doesn't want her to lift anything heavy, so nothing heavier than like a gallon of milk, okay. especially in the summer. How long? Um, until he clears her at the same oh, okay. Um No dressing needed. Obviously, she can um, she can remove this dressing in 48 hours. After she removes it, she's okay. She okay. can shower, you know, as long as she doesn't itch, scratch, or like rub anything that's um, over there, then she's fine. Okay. No bathing though. Um, again, uh, he can see. Her. He wants to see her in two weeks. Um, this phone number is your point of contact. So if you have any questions, problems, concerns, you're gonna call that number first. This is like called medical tape, so you would just okay. pull that off. And that's when. And there's probably some gauze. Yeah. And so forty eight hours, and then wash it off, but not rub it. Like yeah. Run water. Yeah. Off. Exactly. Yeah. Just let it kind of just flow. Um, she's okay to shower once the dressings are removed. So there's Steri strips there. They're basically like white little like tape pieces. We want those to um, stay on, so those are the things that you're not going to itch, scratch, or peel. Okay. Um, she could take her Percocet. Oh, that's the um, prescription? Or? The Percocet? Yeah, is that a prescription? Yes, or? yeah, that's her medication. Yeah. So she could take that for her moderate pain. Um, you can expect some bruising in the area of the surgical site. Um, call if she has any worsening pain, redness, or signs of infection. No strenuous activities. Resume home medication and diet. Um, although she's awake and alert in the recovery room, small amounts of anesthesia remain in her body for 24 hours, so she may feel tired and sleepy for the remainder of the day. Once she's home, we just want her to rest, take it easy, relax as much as possible. We do want someone with her just to watch her. Um, she can eat lightly when she goes home, you know, start with soups, water, um, juices, things like that. Once she's able to tolerate that without any vomiting or nausea, she can go ahead and pretty much eat like normal. Okay. Um, we want her to drink plenty of fluids, no alcohol, beverages, or smoking for 24 hours. She may have some nausea or vomiting. That's just a side effect of the anesthesia. Um, totally normal. Um, she can just lie down, breathe deeply. She could take that Zofran if she still has it at home. Um, if it becomes uncontrolled, you can call Dr. Uh, she's to not operate a motor vehicle or any mechanical or electrical equipment for 24 hours, as well as not make any important decisions or legal documents um, after the anesthesia for 24 hours. I just gotta wake her up. <laughs> Are you awake? Open your eyes. <laughs> I just want to connect this on her. This is not a turn in. Oh, Look who's here. Aubrey Los Ojos. Look, look, look. Like, this might be a little worse than last time. Really? <laughs> I think her eyes were open last time. <laughs> at least, yeah, at least they were open last time. Can you see me? Yeah. At least now I'm getting like the little kind of furrows. I wasn't getting that earlier. Really.
We're starting to wake up. Are you thirsty? If you wake up, I can get you some. Oh, good. <coughs> we like that. There we go. <coughs> okay. Open the bar. Oh, look, now we're getting it. Look over there. Yes. Look who's here. Hi. <laughs> You're waking up now? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Look at those pretty eyes. Oh, yay. You're awake now. You're thirsty. Yeah, her throat might be a little bit sore. That's just from the uh, tube that they put down. Uh -oh. So I can get her some. Oh, sorry. That was my fault. I can get her some uh, ice chips when she's fully awake. Yeah, wake up. Don't you want some ice chips? I just want you to wake up early so you can get your pain prescription tonight. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, they're going to close. I want to make sure you get that before anything else. I, I don't want to, like, I, you know, what we talked about, I don't want to give her any hair, just want to have to keep her even longer, right. and they might knock her out again. So, um, the best thing to do is probably take the prescription. Yeah. Plus, um, that's probably going to be better for her pain anyways, because the one that I give her, it'll just go through the IV. Oh. Really I did give her some too, so she does have a head start. Oh. We can sleep at home, okay? How do you feel? Come up and see him first. Halfway through. Keep those eyes open. Good, good, good. good. Okay. Move those legs. Yep, move them. Good. When you get up, I can get you some water and ice chips, okay? Something to drink. So she must be really hard to wake up at the end. She's a, uh, how do you say it? Uh, how do you say it? Not a heavyweight. She's a lightweight. lightweight. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh She's a lightweight. It doesn't take much for you, huh? <laughs> Stay away. Keep those eyes open. Okay? Keep those eyes open. We gotta get you out of here, okay? At least by seven. So that way you have an hour to get your prescription. Okay? Keep those eyes open. Can you move your hands? We'll take that out in a little bit. What about your other hand? Can you lift them up? Oh, English. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, she always asks for Spanish, but... Yeah, oh, it's like her preferred Yeah, language. but... Ah, okay. I don't know, I feel like she understands most things. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great, okay? Everything went good. Everything went good, and we have these little pillows for you, too. Take one. You can put it under your arms. I thought you were a cheetah type of gal. <laughs> Try to keep those eyes open, okay? Just a little bit longer and I'll let you go home. I promise you. Once I feel like you can get up and move around. Can you try to lift your butt up? Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> 
try to sit up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, see, that's, yeah, that's good. You don't have to sit all the way up, it's okay. I just want to try to wake you up a little bit. Get you moving. Yes, See if you can move around a little. Try to keep those eyes open, okay? All right? What's your name? So I'm just, I got her dress. Watching your face, silly thing. No, she's really sleepy. Hola. ¿Cómo te sientes? Bien? ¿Con mucho sueño? Sí. She, she only got, she didn't get any too much. No. Just a person and the. Yeah. I said she, maybe she's just a lightweight. Yeah, I know she is. Yeah. She's just milking it. She's like, I'm finally getting some good sleep. But I, I mean, I mean, I think it's. You think fine. she's okay? Yeah, she's okay. fine. Okay. Right. Cause I. Yeah, cause I didn't give her anything crazy. I gave her, I gave her, her, I gave her Tylenol. That's it. Yeah. I didn't give her any narcotics. Tienes dolor, un poquito dolor. Donde te duele? Ahí en la cirugía. I just gave her Tylenol because I didn't want to give her more since she was so tired. Uh -huh. Well, you know that. Trying to get up? Mm. Yeah, you're good. Do you think you're okay to go home? Are you trying to go home? Is that what you want to do? Okay, here, I'll help you. So help you wake up. You can grab my hand. Hey, I'm gonna help you because I know you're not fighting. Oh, see, you're easy. You're not like that. How does that feel? We'll just stay here for a minute.
भी सीखे हैं Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. Finally get some rest. <laughs> Great, thank you. <laughs> Oh my god. Respira, respira. 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 Respira